What's up, everybody? We're out here on a Thursday here with ED or Ed. Uh, finally getting him out here on video. Uh, we're on a Class A feeder creek um, up near Central PA. Um, looks pretty good. Water's up, good color. So follow along, see how we do. Got Ed Fish in a little bit of a slow seam here. It's by the faster water. Just first couple casts, we just got in the water. I don't know what he's using, but I got on the bugger jig. It's a little smaller, size 10. I'm gonna go upstream. Got one. <laughs> Little wild brown on the BWO. <clears throat> Ed got one and I got one. About the same size, huh? So we BWO. What's he on? That's on the that olive caddis thing. Beautiful fish. That's number two. It's a little bit of a struggle. Ed's got one or two, I can't remember. Missed a couple. There we go. Now we're fishing. In a tree, all tangled up. Gotta love it. That's a really good drift coming through there. And they're definitely hitting bottom. <laughs> and we're off. Are they both on there? Yes, we are. Here we go. Come on. Really small seam over there. one buddy another brown for Ed they're so pretty the GoPro doesn't pick up I mean it's great but it, it doesn't really pick up the detail of that fish yeah but that's a really really pretty pattern on these fish wow you, I don't think you can see the red tips of that fin on here but that's just a healthy beautiful fish right there Jaw. That's actually not a bad one. That's about nine inches, maybe. Good job. That's what Real we're decent. Here we'll Real take decent. it. We'll take it. I don't know if I picked it up on camera, but Ed's hook set. He barely, he just barely moves his wrist. Um, anyone just doing this as me too, what I used to do is set the hook like I was ocean fishing. And um, that's not a good thing to do, especially if you have dual flies on. You'll tangle them, and if you miss that fish, you're gonna be in a tree behind you. 
it's just not fun so he just barely moved his wrist downstream you basically want to move them flies a few inches on the hook set that's all you're trying to do nice seam over there we're kind of drifting i just had a smash and missed it dang it he was a nice one. I saw him flash and everything. He's probably closer to 16, 17 inch, which is a nice wild, but Ed said that's kind of common here and they even get bigger than that. I've never fished here before. I don't think he's gonna hit again. He gave me my chance. I set the hook, I just, I don't know. Pretty nice seam right here um, by this down tree. So I'm gonna try to stay below the hole Casting up into it using a tuck cast where basically you're just ending your rod tip high on the cast and nothing touches the uh, water but your tip it and it just slings the the beads deep. The old Robin Hood cast there, yeah, I don't know how you're not getting one out of that. I mean, you're. Did you have one? No. Huh. Got a little excited. <laughs> Day like today. <laughs> Tough to come by a bite. hooked up here I do but my rod stuck in the tree <laughs> and uh, that's a nice fish for that That was a nice one Ed just caught. He got that on an olive jig bugger. So that's what I'm changing to now. Yeah, yeah, I see him. There, good job. <laughs> yeah. On the olive bugger streamer jig thing. How cold is that fish? There it is. Came twice he he came twice that big one <laughs> that's about what's going on here just jigging it and this there's a big one and then a little one the big one wants the streamer the little one wants the nymph let's see what happens <laughs> no miss it again Jigging that down in there, got one. All right, in that faster water, I was just jigging the streamer through it. Got him. Decent one. Better than any I've got today so far. Not a bad fish. See you, buddy. Yeah, they're just blowing up on this. Kind of just drifting it down through the fast water. And then as it gets down from you swinging it, just jig it a few times. And since we've changed to these, it's basically what I was using yesterday. Um, same concept, too. Just uh, kind of tight lining them a little till they get down below you, and then you just jig it back to you. Nah. 
Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going, no, that's a limb, that's not a fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, on dead drift. These are so pretty, these browns. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't doing anything. He hit it like three times and I'm going, nah, that's not a fish, that's a log. into them uh all of them. all of nymphs bwo some caddis and then the bugger there at the end uh they were in the faster water but in deep uh, they weren't at the head of the hole they were in i guess just because the water was up is probably why it was fast but um definitely had to be in moving water they weren't really in the, the real slow stuff like i thought they'd be but um you know we just had a good time and got out and that's all it's about, right? 